Well, hello and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. And this will be going up on weekends. I'm Wise Mamiya. And this is the game. Hello there. Welcome to the World of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. Or the Pokemon Prof, apparently. Old school text limits. <laughs> anyway, this world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some reason, for some people are. For some people, Pokemon are pets, or just use them for uh, fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Okay, there's no need to use any lower cases here. Now, despite that save file that was uh, on screen a while ago, I haven't actually played much of Gen 1. I'm aware of it. I'm aware of how many uh, bugs there are in it. But I cut my teeth on Gen 3. Also, um... I'm not as familiar with what the explosives were back in red, blue, and yellow. I better go to okay. And there's really no point in talking to your mom. I could pick up a town map. And I don't really see a reason not to. Okay. Oh, right. Can't get the map yet. Right. Hey, wait. Don't go out. That was close. Wild Pokemon only been in tall, in tall grass. And... By virtue of this being Pokemon Yellow. Behold, Pikachu. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Hmm? Blue? Why are you here? Already. Oh, the objection isn't that he's here, it's that he's here early. I said for you to come by later. 
Hell, whatever, just wait there. Oh, come here, do you see that ball on the table? It's called a Pokeball. It holds a Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on, take it. Yeah, right. Well, so, this bowl contains an Eevee. And when I try to take it... Nope. No Eevee for me, just a Pikachu. Which doesn't matter all that much. I think Pikachu's the better option, but... Only because of the early game? Pikachu is much better later. No. Eevee is much better later. When you... Uh, if you have the option to evolve it, which remakes of this particular game don't allow. I am familiar with the remakes of Gen 1, but um... Okay, no nickname for the Pikachu. Good old name us. Okay. Gary wants to battle Gary's or blue, rather, is just a bit of an annoying jerk. It's not like he can really do much, but um I want to lose this fight. I really do. If I recall correctly, losing this fight means that he won't have a... He won't have a Jolteon if I lose this fight. He'll have a Vaporeon, I believe. I'd have to double-check Bulbapedia, but I think that's the case. I'm just gonna keep growling. Because, like I said, I need to lose this fight. There we go. I'm going to double check Bulbapedia real quick. Okay, yeah, in order to have better chances against him later, uh, yeah, I lose it here so that I have type advantage next, uh, so that I've got type advantage later in the game. Type advantage is real good to have. Right, Pikachu's gonna be a little mad at me, because, um, I did let him faint. I'm assuming Pikachu's a boy, but, um, Gen 1. So, Pokemon didn't have genders back then. Potion, make a trip up to Viridian. Mm, 
this first episode is going to be kind of slow. Okay. It's Gen 1 moves miss a lot. Even when they shouldn't, they do. It'll be fine. We'll roll with it. Okay, we heal it up to full. I might do some more battling off screen, maybe. But I'm not gonna make you sit through me backtracking through tall grass just to get into battles. If I happen into a battle organically, fine. But, um, as it stands. going to, uh, force that. Not until I want to catch something, which... The something I might want to catch is actually a priority for me. Because, unfortunately, electric weak the rock. And the first gym happens to be rock. Okay, Oak's going to give us the Pokedex. Right. Thank you, Oak. Now then. I am not going to be completing the Pokedex. I did that once on Fire Red and it wasn't worth my time. But, I am playing this because I want to at least go through Pokemon Stadium and all these other old Pokemon games just to experience them this way, because I, like I said, I grew up with Gen 3, so I'm only really familiar Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, uh, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. Now, I don't want Rattata, but... Experience points are kind of important. Because I'm kind of low level. to the music, though, it's pretty catchy for... she's... Mm, mm, 90s? Yeah. Mid to late 90s. Okay. Go back 
chapter 4. Because why use potions when a Pokemon Center is literally right here? Exactly hidden in the remakes, it's just kind of out in the open. But I don't know, sprite limitations or something. Ooh, Nidoran. Now, this is a very viable option. Very strong viable option for um, what I what I like for this, which is I want something that can somewhat uh, handle rock. So Nidoran isn't a bad option. Mankey is slightly better. I'm uh, hoping for Mankey, but I'll take a Nidoran if I can, if, if I need to take it, I will. I'm not picky. I do have less money to spend buying items, so... There is that downside to intentionally losing to my rival. But, on the other hand, oh, never mind, I guess that's not a thing that is possible. Okay, I'm going to hide six of those, I think I'll only need five, but if Better, better have six and not need six than need six and not have six. Because catch rates are a pain. Alright. If I don't... I was gonna say, if I don't find what I'm looking for in the next 12 encounters, I'm going to give up and just catch it off screen, but <laughs> don't need to do that now. Uh, well, I know what most of the major glitches are, I'm not going to be attempting to even pull them off, because, honestly, I'm missing now when the mute glitch both seem real difficult to pull off, and I'm not sure I, I'm not sure I can. Going to need to level that Mankey. Because, um, yeah, it's very low level for what I'm gonna need it for. Mankey will do its job well enough. Problems of mashing through with A. I'm just gonna stick to B from here on. Uh, 
Okay. Horse tutorial. You could actually skip this guy in red and blue, but you can't hear. You know, I said I need to have Manky leveled, and then I immediately... Immediately leave Manky at the back of the party. Like an idiot. Okay. But yeah, I can't pull off RNG manipulations. I almost certainly can't pull off the, uh, the big name collections with this game. Yeah, well, that's disappointing. No experience for you. Yeah. right outside town. Oh well. So, these, uh, these weekend videos are going to just be a somewhat more relaxing, like, Ace Attorney and stuff of that sort are logic games, which I personally find extremely relaxing, but Pokemon is a good turn your brain off game. Very, very little effort for me at least. So I can just wander through mindlessly, going through basically a map I know by heart, even if I am unfamiliar with this particular version of it. That'll be helpful here. There are a shit ton of bugs in these, uh, in this forest. And, um, yeah. Oh, right, this was before trainer names. Right. Before trainer names, before abilities. Uh, I'm going to have to get used to that because, um, I'm so familiar with flat out physically attacking a Nidoran being a bad idea. Just because poison was a thing. Wasn't a thing back then. This game is actually you know, somehow the easiest and also somehow the most broken. And we'll see more of what I mean exactly 
when, when we get to the Psychic Gym, because, um, yeah, Psychic is very overpowered. God, catching the use here would be terrible without a Master Ball in this game. And even then, in the, in this generation, the Master Ball can fail because of a glitch. Because, because even perfect accuracy can't be perfect. So, Bug is kind of in a weird place as a type. The Bug types are technically strong against Psychic, but, um... Yeah, no. Like, uh, Bug... There were no Bug moves back in Gen 1. So, Bug being super effective on Psychic didn't, doesn't really mean much here. Uh, the game will also tell you that Poison is, or not Poison, but Ghost is super effective on uh, the Psychic, and while that's not wrong, the, um, the only Ghost types available in Gen 1 were Ghost Poison, so if you're trying to defeat, if you're trying to defeat Sabrina later on, uh, it's probably best not to have a Haunter on your team. A slightly interesting thing about how this game works is all these Pokemon are all these trainers are kind of pulling their Pokemon out of what can be encountered in the route itself. I'm gonna switch to Pikachu. Pikachu gives more damage. So, well, yes, level 7 is incredibly high for a Caterpie. Uh, Caterpie is most of what you'll find on this run. Now, I'm using a method called Switch Training here, because... 
Mankey is currently too pathetic to handle a fight with two characters. Uh, I will be sticking to just the uh, required encounters from this point on. Anyway, I'll, I'll finish this battle off screen and I'll come in, I'll, uh, I'll finish the battle off screen and we'll continue this playthrough in tomorrow's episode of Pokemon Yellow.